bowled out for just 96 on the opening day, Durham recovered to complete a remarkable 95-run win over Derbyshire. Ben Slater and Callum Broderick were the men at the crease on the final day's play at the Emirates Riverside. Derbyshire, already four wickets down, were chasing another 199 runs for victory. The Durham batsmen had done their job well on day three, leaving their bowlers every chance of sealing a victory. The home crowd didn't have to wait long for a wicket in the morning session, as Rushworth's delivery to Broderick was caught behind by Davis. Wicketkeeper Smith arrived at the crease, but he departed five balls later. He was trapped LBW by Salisbury, the visiting team still 182 runs behind, with only four wickets remaining. Moments later, Slater lost another partner, as Villeun missed a Rimmington delivery and saw his stumps removed. Slater continued to take on the Durham bowlers, but he eventually accounted for Salisbury's fourth wicket of the innings as he was clean bowled, his side now 135 runs short and running out of batsmen. Having seen Salisbury take his fourth wicket, Rushworth decided to join him, removing Gleedol's stumps for just two, and Derbyshire were now 140 for nine. Palladino and Olivier did their best to put on a brave last stand with the occasional boundary, Durham's fantastic turnaround though was complete when Rushworth claimed his Pfeiffer, Olivier trapped LBW and the host securing a win by 95 runs. Having been 109 behind in their first innings, fantastic displays from Hart with the bat and Rushworth with the ball had led Durham to their second championship victory of the season, securing 19 points. Derbyshire's final day collapse at Chester Street seeing them leave with just four points.